A new Mario game has come out this week, Super Mario Wonder, and we will be sharing our thoughts on it, but this is also a really great opportunity to challenge each other to some good old-fashioned Mario trivia. I brought three questions, Marcus. Is that how many you brought? Yes, I've brought three mini-games. Three three little oh, quizzes. Excellent. Well, with a uh, flip of the coin, we'll see who goes first. I wish I had, like, a, a Mario-themed coin. I do have this little metal mushroom. Oh, that's delightful. Let's see, uh... Oh, there's something inside it, actually. Hang on. Oh, yeah. I have a little pin in here of the Swedish chef from Muppets for some reason. <laughs> that's that's, a, that's odd. very on theme. Yeah, that's exactly what I'd expect to find in a Mario mushroom. I'm going to take off the, the lid of the mushroom and flip it on the floor. <laughs> All right. We'll say a uh, spot side up is you and uh, okay. open side up is me. Okay, here we go. Okay, heads. Uh, open side up. So okay, that means so I will be, first. Yeah, I'll go first. All right, well, I want to start off with a nice multiple choice question. You're so kind. Um, three of them, to be exact. So, uh, and these all have to do with power ups. I feel like it's really important to the identity of Mario games that he gets power ups. They even made a big deal about it in the movie. Um, and the big one that everyone's talking about and memeing to death is how Mario is now an elephant, which is pretty cool. But I wanted to ask you which of the following animals is not a power-up in the Mario series. Here they are. Frog, squirrel, penguin, bee, bear, and bunny. Okay, so it's either bear or bunny. I don't think he's a bear at any point, but I can't remember when or where he would have been a bunny. Where would he have been a bear? Uh, gut says bear. Final answer. That is correct. Yes. He was a bunny in one of the Game Boy games. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He, he, like, gets a super carrot, and it gets, like, rabbit ears kind of thing. Nice. But speaking of carrots, most of the time, Mario eats mushrooms to power up. And there are various mushrooms that do different things throughout the series. Which of the following power-ups is a mushroom power-up? Propeller, elephant, boomerang, squirrel, or invisibility? Which of those is a mushroom? One of those is a mushroom power-up. Okay. Uh, say the first one again. The first one is propeller. Yep, that one. Propeller shroom. You got it. Yep, from yes. New Super Mario Bros. We One of the best power-ups. That one's so fun. Yeah delightful okay well you're two out of three but here is your final one uh i said there's a lot of mushroom power-ups throughout the series there's also a lot of flowers in fact I'd, i think there's more flower power-ups than there are mushrooms so tell me from this list which one of these is not a flower power-up okay bubbles ice rock cloud or fire Okay, so we are including Mario Wonder. Yes, yes we are. Okay, so I don't have complete information on that game yet, but I'm pretty sure that rock is a mushroom, not a flower. Is it rock? It is rock. But that's not from Mario Wonder. That's from uh, Mario Galaxy 2. Yeah. Where you turn into a big rock boulder and roll forward. That's right. But I will say the bubble flower, which was on this list, bubbles, that is a flower and that is in Mario Wonder. Presumably in a later world. I, I haven't encountered it yet. Gotcha. Excellent. Three out of three? Yeah, you aced it. Now, Jared, I'm sure you're asking yourself, how did Marcus remember power-up so well? Surely he didn't do recent research on Mario power-ups. What can I say? You came prepared. With a question for you that involves power-ups. <laughs> Some of these are going to be easy considering what came before, but I just have a list of power-ups. You got to tell me if they're real or not. Okay. It's a short list. <laughs> Lucky Bell. True. Yes. What does it turn Mario into? A cat. That is the cat one. That's right. And how about carrot? <laughs> <laughs> Super carrot? The bunny? How did you not get bunny? You said you weren't sure about bunny. 
I forgot carrot was on my list. <laughs> gotcha. So yes, there's yeah. a carrot. That is an obscure one. Yeah. Super Mario Land 2, six golden coins, I'm pretty That's sure. That's the one. Okay. Boo Mushroom. Boo Mushroom? Oh, Boo Mushroom? Boo Space Mushroom. Or maybe Boom Space Ushroom. What That's I heard possible. was Boom Mushroom. <laughs> Boomashroom. <laughs> hey, I Boom- choose you. <laughs> the Boomashroom. <laughs> That's the Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, Boo Mushroom. I think that is one. I'm going to say true. Correct. Can you guess what game it's in? It's Mario Galaxy 1. It might be 2. It's in 2. Yeah, good guess. Uh, that's, yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. Next up, Double Cherry. Double Cherry is in Mario 3D World. So, yes. That's right. Wiggler Mask. Well, I mean, you can capture the tropical wigglers and play as them in Mario Odyssey, but I don't think there's a mask, so I'm going to say no. False. You're correct. There are masks, though, in some games. There's a Goomba mask. Uh, I can't even remember which game it is, but yeah, I did just make that up, so good job. Uh, Last one, actually, is Golden Leaf. That's tricky, because the leaf turns you into Tanuki... But there is like a super like invincibility version of that in uh, Mario 3D Land, I think, and maybe some others. I'm going to go true, Golden Leaf. Okay, so this one's tricky because depending on how you look at it, you either are right either way or wrong either way. Because this <laughs> isn't a Mario game, but I'm not sure I'd call it a power-up. What you're thinking of is I think called the invincibility leaf. I don't think that leaf is golden. But... There's an item in Thousand Year Door, Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is a golden leaf. <laughs> so, technically, if, if you want to fact check me. Okay, okay. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. It, well, okay. <laughs> well, the Mario Wiki, I will say, says the invincibility leaf. Um, technically. <clears throat> let me push up my spectacles here, real quick. Um, actually, the invincibility leaf, it says in parentheses, also called. The Invincible Super Leaf or Gold Leaf. Mm, wow. So I uh, believe I am correct according to my calculations. Mm. Dang. Well, I didn't say Gold Leaf. I said Golden Leaf. So we'll just call golden that a draw. Leaf. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I aced it, man. We both aced it. Uh, something that um, was interesting is that recently was announced who the Mario voice actor, the new Mario voice actor is, Kevin F. Ghani. Everyone was trying to deduce. They were data mining the Target demo, kiosk demo, and, you know, they figured out who it was, and it turned out not to be him. And then, anyway, so now we know who it is, Kevin F. Ghani. He did a great job. He's a year younger than me, which in some ways makes me feel like I I missed my opportunity in life to do something. Uh Because I'm like, how how is he younger and he's already Mario? Doesn't matter. That's a whole other thing. He's doing a great job. And uh, as you know, Charles Martinet has voiced mario ever since mario 64 but he's not the only mario series voice actor there's a couple people who have voiced the other characters in the games and so i'm going to play some sound effects for you some voice clips and i want you to guess where they're from and i'm i'm gonna go really lenient on this you don't even have to get the exact game you can just tell me what type of game it is and uh we'll we'll give it to you Interesting. That makes me think you're going to throw some sports games at me. That is on the table. Absolutely. And so is Mario Teaches Typing. So keep no, that in mind. No, please. So if you hear him say, lasagna, that's probably from that one. <laughs> We've got three audio clips. And uh, yeah, go ahead and listen to these one at a time and see what you think. Number one. <laughs> All right. It's Babbling Mario. This is fake Italian from uh, Charles Martinet. Very fake Italian, as far as I can tell. I've heard this sound clip used, but I don't actually know for sure what it's from. I'm going to say that it's... Oh, gosh. Is it like... It's Mario getting frustrated. It's, It's definitely the character of Mario. I feel like it's like mario 64 era i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna logic my way into this do you have a wild guess my wild guess is 
Mario 64, specifically the part where you pull and stretch his face on the main menu. <laughs> he does make sounds in that. But uh, no, this is from the Mario and Luigi series. Mamma mia! Uh, ah. Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. And this is uh, just him babbling whenever they show him talking to an NPC. There's like actually a whole bunch of these. I just played one of them. There's some others that are way longer. Wow, really? Yeah, there's there's more and they're delightful hearing him just do basically Animal Crossing talk but with Mario's voice, you know. Great pick. Okay, number 2. Nintendo! Whoa! Right! Yeah! What? Oh wow. Okay, Daisy is really excited about Nintendo. Uh, is this Super Strikers? Uh, this is not Super Strikers, but it is a Strikers game. Aha! That's as close as I'll ever get. These sound clips are the reason people have requested Daisy B in Super Strikers, because she wasn't when it came out, and they added her later. She has so much personality, the voice actress just killed it uh, with the raw intensity and excitement of <laughs> Daisy's scratchy voice just screaming. We're going to give that one to you. Good job. Woohoo! Right! Yeah! What? Oh, man. I am just imagine watching her record in the booth. What a time that would I be. I wish I could have been there. That'd be my dream, to record non-speaking sounds for Nintendo games. Yeah. My favorite okay, is so the way she says the word Nintendo, because it starts like a normal word. Nan, and then it breaks. Nintendo! It's fantastic. It's great. And you might be able to tell that that voice actress has voiced Toad before. Ah, well. yes. All right, great. Number three. Good luck. <laughs> I hate this. Uh, <laughs> like, my knee jerk reaction would be this is a Koopaline in New Super Mario Bros. Like, when they're being. I had drowned in flames or something after you defeat one of the Koopalings. Um, let me listen to it again. <laughs> you could have a hundred people listen to that, and I doubt anyone would agree on what exactly this person is going through. That is so specific and so indiscernible um i think i'll just go with that i'll say that it's from a mario platformer and it is uh koopaling i'm afraid that's incorrect but you're not far off because this is kind of the equivalent of the koopalings in super mario odyssey this is madame brood uh rabbit lady with the golden chain chomp pet that you fling into her face and she gets all frustrated uh, so yeah i i didn't uh hold back on that one so i think i still think you did a great job but um yeah i think you picked excellent clips because they were iconic no part of me was like oh that could have been in two different games it's like no no <laughs> this is very singular yeah awesome well what do you got for me i mean can you really be a Mario fan without being intimately familiar with the new Super Mario Bros. movie? I I think not. Oh, intimately familiar. I don't know. I, I do want to see it a second time, but uh, <laughs> we'll see well, how I do it. This will basically be like watching it a second time because I have a couple of quotes from different characters. I want <laughs> okay. you to tell me who said these lines. Okay. All right. I'll I'll search my mind palace and see how I do. All right. Dude, is this you flirting? This is painful. I'm going to guess that's Donkey Kong making fun of Mario. Yes, it is. It is Donkey Kong. That that was pretty good. That's a good line. (laughs) Next up. Enough with the showboating. Enough with the showboating. Oh, man. Um, I assume this is in the Mario vs. Donkey Kong fight, so let's say Cranky Kong. Correct. Good job. Yes. Awesome. He shouts it to, to his son, uh, who Very likes nice. to make his pecs dance. Believe it or not, I'm dressing up as Donkey Kong tomorrow at my baby shower. <laughs> it's a costume that party. That is quite a choice. I'm so excited to see it. Next up, just go in a corner and smash some stuff, Smash Monkey. I'm going to... I <laughs> I assume this is also directed at DK, so we'll say Mario. Also correct. 
Is this when they're like trapped inside a fish or something? It is. Okay. Yep. Cool. Good job. Two more. What are you going to tell me next? That the turtles aren't evil? Uh, Peach? Yes, correct. Okay. Mario is telling her about life in Brooklyn. He's like, yeah, I'll get you a turtle. I always thought that was really sweet. No one has ever offered me that. <laughs> I'm like, this is cute. This is good flirting. <laughs> <laughs> this is adorable. All right, final one. Okay. In an insane world, it is the sane who is called crazy. Wow. Uh, that's kind of deep. I feel like it either has to be Mario's father or uh, the... I don't see the Kamek saying that. Um, it could be Bowser. I, I feel like uh, Toad had some, like, I am the storm kind of lines in the movie. So I'm going to say the Toad. Mamma mia! I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Oh. Was it Mario's dad? That's my second It guess. was not. Oh, okay, no, what is it? None of the names you said were correct. This was the little nihilistic Lumily in the Oh, of course. Cage. Of course. Of course. When you said course, time, like hope, is an illusion. Yes, yes, yes. The Luma. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, that, that makes perfect sense. Well, well done. Those were good quotes and a very good trivia challenge considering I haven't seen it in a few months. Well, you did very well considering the same. So, well done. Well played. Thank you much. Well, on to the final trial then. Uh, we did sound effects. We did power-ups. For my final thing with you you get to choose if you get a cheat sheet for this or not i'm gonna ask you some uh, well, well let me ask you first i have to ask you this question this is not part of the quiz what mario game do you think you have played the most throughout the course of your life including paper mario games that's a good point we did play paper mario a lot growing up uh, i'd say besides that uh besides that probably super mario sunshine that's right so in the the course of your playing you, what you didn't realize was that you were preparing for this quiz. For a day like this. Yes. Because I'm going to test you on some of the geography of Isle Delfino. Ooh, I like this. Sound good? Sure. I'm going to ask you some questions about... Relative location? Correct. And I have an overview map of Isle Delfino. Would you like to see it? Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Did you think that I was going to be too stubborn to take the help? Not necessarily too stubborn, but I just, I know these can be difficult. Here you go. Alrighty. Okay, so I, I have a list of the locations I can also send you if you get a little too tripped up, but I feel like you know these locations well enough that you can name them easily. So the very first question is, from Gelato Beach, you can see two areas. All you have to do is just tell me one of them. Okay, uh, I recognize Gelato Beach on this map, and it looks like it's got a view of Pianta Park. It's uh, Peanut Park, actually. Oh, okay. That one. Is that your guess? No, it's Serena Beach. Either of those. Peanut Park is correct. Uh, you cannot see Serena Beach from it, actually. It's, it's too oh, tucked away. Oh, interesting. All right. Uh, the other answer that I would have accepted is Rico Harbor. You can actually make out Rico Harbor if you swim out far enough in Gelato Beach. So, good job. All right, next question. Peanut Park is, you know, pretty easy to spot from most locations. But from Peanut Park, you can only see three areas. Please tell me which areas you can see. Uh, we'll, we'll say two out of three. This, is, this would be a nightmare without a map. Uh... <laughs> But, all right, I know you can see Peanut Park from the the hub place. Um, shoot. <laughs> Delfino Plaza. So I'm going to say Delfino Plaza, and I'm also going to say Rico Harbor. That's correct. If you had to venture a guess, what would the third location be? Well, we already said that Gelato Beach you can see. So I assume that the relationship goes the other way, too. It's actually not true, because if you look on the map... The back of the theme park, the big mountains, are actually facing Gelato Beach. So you cannot ah. see Gelato Beach at all. You can see Serena Beach, though. Did you play through this game just to, to see I these did. things? Yes, wow. I did. I pulled open the game to, to remind myself. This is so nitpicky. How fun. <laughs> uh, the hub of this game, Delfino Plaza. You can see 
quite a few areas. We'll say excluding Corona Mountain, because that's technically an area. You have to name three locations that you can see from Delfino Plaza. Okay. Rico Harbor, Pina Park. I think you can see Rico Harbor, but what if you can't? No, no. I'm going to stick to those two. Uh, Are we counting the airport strip? That is a location in the game. I think you can see it. Uh Uh-huh. Those are my guesses. That is correct. You can see the Delfino Airstrip, Pina Park, Rico Harbor, and technically, you can also see Bianca Hills because Bianca Hills is directly above Rico Harbor. Uh, You you can't really make out landmarks from Delfino, but you can see the lip of where you start that area. Anyway, you did it. Good job. Man, I have not spent much time thinking about how it's not an interconnected world, but they have like a geography it kind of is though like the fact that it has a map and that you can see other levels i felt like made a huge difference in making you feel like you were in this setting like it was really really good world building in and what other 3d mario games even do that like i'm not sure if i can i don't think any of them do i think uh there's like one maybe two worlds in odyssey that you can see the next world from a distance maybe but uh not like this so that's pretty cool fascinating well jared i think that you've shown that you're uh, quite the mario fan but we're here making up our own quizzes to try to figure out if we're mario fans when we could go to the source oh the canonical source that's right i'm talking about mario.nintendo.com slash quiz oh which... the official nintendo quiz wait isn't this plagiarism I'm disappointed that you didn't prepare more original stuff for me. No, 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 no. It's not me being lazy at all. Definitely not. I And it's not plagiarism because I am quoting them and we are doing iterative work and I will review the copyright stuff later. <laughs> okay. This, so you, this you is just, legal. Are you just going to click on the quiz and, and run it with me? Are you just I've already read gone the whole through this. I was impressed. Right. I. I thought of stealing one question from it, and instead I was like, you know, all of these are pretty good. I'll just go through these five questions with Jared. They're all multiple choice. And this is if you click hard on mario.nintendo.com slash quiz. All right. So five question quiz hard. Number one. In the Super Mario Sunshine game, Mario uses a tool strapped to his back to clean up messes on Isle Delfino called Flood. What does Flood stand for? Fantasticish Ludwig und der Dingbat? Forensic Light under Dirty Dog? Flaming Laser Ultra Dirt Destroyer? Or Flash Liquidizer Ultra Dowsing Device? The last one. (laughs) That was a gimme. All right. Well, I did really like the flame. What was it? Flaming light under dirt, dirty dog. What? <laughs> My favorite one is fantastic ish Ludwig und der Dienbat. I mean, I great. could see Egad naming one of his inventions that. That sounds <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Number two. In which game did Mario first encounter the poison mushroom? Super Mario Bros. 3, Super Mario Land. New Super Mario Bros. Wii or Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels? Oh, man. So I haven't played Super Mario Land, and everyone tells me it's, like, the best one. So I could see it being in that game. I think there's, like, a giant world in there. But I only remember it from the Wii game. So I'm just going to guess the Wii game, even though I might be wrong. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Mamma mia! It's also not Super Mario Land. It was in Super Mario The Lost Levels. Interesting. Wait a minute. Was it Mini Mushroom or Poison Mushroom? Poison. I misheard that. I thought it was Mini. If it was Poison, I might have guessed Land anyway, though, so... Whatever. It doesn't matter if I would have got it or not. The the facts stand as they are. The way that I remember that is because I've heard that one of the reasons it wasn't immediately widely released in America is because it was really frustrating. It took expectations, turned them on its head, and kind of made you feel dumb sometimes. So (laughs) that's where the poison mushroom came in. For sure. Next question. In which game did Mario first get sleepy and take a nap when the player was idle? Mario 64. 
Is that your final answer? I believe so, yes. I'm pretty sure that's right, but this one I actually don't remember the answer to. Oh, so what? I want to... <laughs> it's because uh, Charles Martinet says this a lot. It was his first job as Mario, and he says when, when Mario falls asleep when you haven't been playing long enough, he goes... Spaghetti! Ravioli! Mamma mia! Correct! Yeah, <laughs> I'll take it. Next up, which is the first Super Mario game where Mario's hat can be blown off his head? Oh, interesting. Uh, is there a multiple choice here? Oh, yes, sorry. It is either New Super Mario Bros., Super Mario Sunshine, Super Mario Odyssey, or Super Mario 64. Um, well, it definitely can come off in Mario 64 DS... But mm-hmm, mm-hmm. let's go Mario 64. Correct. All right. Good guessing. Good guessing. Let's go. Here's the last one. Okay. In the original Super Mario Bros. game, Mario's iconic overalls weren't blue. They were green, yellow, red, or camouflage. Oh, that's not fair. It's not fair that he couldn't wear camo because that would have been really <laughs> flattering on him. Uh, Give me the colors again. Green, yellow, red, camouflage. Oh, man. It's either... Re- it might be red, actually. Like, I don't think it's actually a red shirt under overalls. I think the overalls were actually red. I feel like the sprite has a lot of... Yellow... It has a lot of brown to it. Let's say red. I'm gonna go red. Correct. Good job. Oh, all right. That's it. Good job. That was, I think, four out of five. Four out of the five. I'll take it. Official Mario quiz. Okay. Well, we both did really well. I think we both got two out of three we challenges. We passed the threshold. Yeah. So we're both not fake fans of Mario. Not today. I, I think our listeners will be relieved to hear that. <laughs> yeah. They've been rooting for us. They know how often we're put to shame. So Mario games are so good. They're so ubiquitously good because everyone plays them right like at least everyone in our circles who likes video games and has a nintendo console generally will pick up a mario game but it's not a game series that i'm like oh i'm a huge mario fan like i don't it's not quite the same as saying like i'm a zelda fan you know Mm -hmm. but like we are fans the games are good and that's why we picked up super mario wonder which we actually got to play together locally for a little bit which was awesome what do you think of the game so far so far, so good. It's whimsical, which is about what you would expect, considering it's called Wonder. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to go further and see what they do to distinguish it from other Mario platformers. It might just be like more of the same, but in a good way. So I'm interested to see like what moments turn out to be most iconic or what ideas turn out to be most interesting. Well, it's certainly struck a chord with people in like the previews and stuff. I remember the directs. And everyone was going on about the Mario elephant thing, right? And then um, I feel like even just changing Mario's voice has brought a lot of attention to it, too. It, it feels fresh. And even though, yes, mechanically, this is the same or, or very similar to a lot of the Mario platformers we've gotten recently, they've really sold us on this is a fresh new game. And in part, I think that's because of the Wonder Flower mechanic. In every single level of this game, you can find a wonder flower, which will then completely change the level in some way. And sometimes it's like a minor change. Sometimes it's like, whoa, okay, new little mechanic. And sometimes it's like, what the heck is going on? This is completely different. This is this has nothing to do with the theme of the level or the mechanics. This is like an all new thing, you know? And I love it. I love that there's so much variety because that's what I like in a, in a really good video game or especially platformers is just the constant new mechanics, new things thrown at you every single level. There's so many ideas in this game that are used once and then pushed aside, and you don't even see those ideas again, which seems wasteful, and yet uh, it, it really adds to the you never know what to expect, you know? Right. Well, kind of I, I would say we actually don't know that for sure. I'm not sure if either of us have gotten far enough to know it doesn't repeat gimmicks, but that definitely would be pretty typical for for nintendo doing a lot of interesting new things well at least in the first two worlds <laughs> that i've experienced um gotcha. each level has a lot of variety and 3d world was kind of the similar right they'd have like a mechanic that you only see in that level 
So I, you're right, maybe they'll remix some of those ideas later on. But for what it's worth, I think this is a very fun game. And 2D Mario is not something I expected to get excited for, but I am really excited to play through the rest of this game. Heck yeah, me too. Any other thoughts on it? Well, with my knowledge renewed that I am a true Mario fan, I think I'm going to go back and tackle it with the, the fervor that fits one with my strong passion for Mario. <laughs> Well, make sure that you pay very close attention as you play so that you're ready for the next trivia contest we do in 10 years from now. Yeah, heck yeah, absolutely. (laughs) When this game becomes retro. Cool. Well, we'll be back next time to look at a a new indie game, but I hope everyone enjoyed this little trivia contest we did. And until then, I'm Jared. I'm Marcus. And we'll level with you then. Marcus, I have another little bonus question for you. Okay, lay it on me. You know, we've established that you you actually know Mario games pretty well. You know Mario. I I have to hand it to you. But do you know me? How well do you know me? I thought you were going to say, but do you know Mario? (laughs) How well do you know me, Marcus? I I have three questions. On the uh, the GG app, which I really love using as a gaming journal, anyone can go and look at my profile to read recent mini reviews I've written of games I've played and replayed. But uh, on there, I've ranked all of my favorite Mario games. So without looking it up, I want you to. T- I'm going to tell you two Mario games, and you have to guess which one do I rank higher on my list. Okay, I like that. Sure. These are mainline Mario games. Okay. Yep. Okay, which one do I like more? First one, Super Mario Sunshine or Super Mario Odyssey? Can you tell me how many are in between whenever you give me one of these? Uh, No, absolutely not. Some of these might be neck and neck. Well, that would be rude of you to do. I'm going to say that you're trying to trip me up and think that you would choose nostalgia over just good gameness. So I'm going to say that you put Odyssey higher. That is not true. Nostalgia wins absolutely for me. <laughs> oh boy. Um it's it is oh, I, boy. I will give that Mario Odyssey is technically a better game. It's very polished and it's very, very fun. But Sunshine, I've played more and I I love I know that game in and out and I, I just love it. I really, really do. So yeah, Sunshine actually ranks higher for me. But Odyssey is good. It's a good game. Don't get me wrong. Alright, next one. Next one. New Super Mario Brothers or Mario Maker 2? New Super Mario Brothers is higher. That is correct. Yeah, I just don't think that you spent enough time with Super Mario Maker 2 to put it above a game that I know that you spent a lot of time with. I did like Mario Maker. I thought it was a fun game. Um, and sure. the, the single I mean, player it's on campaign your list. was, yeah, it is. Uh, it's, the single player campaign's good on it. Uh, something about New Super Mario Bros. on the DS, though, still feels new to me today, even though there's been four iterations of it now and it's getting old, you know? That first <laughs> one, I really like. And I really like the two-player mode, where you're, you, you're trying to kill each other as Mario or Luigi and collect all the stars and stomp on each other. It's great. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, final question. Mario 3D Land or Super Mario Galaxy? Well, your first two, the older game, was put above the other one. I'm sure you like Galaxy, but a lot of people talk about liking Galaxy 2 more than 1, so I could see there being a bit of a discrepancy I, I do there. like Mario Galaxy 2 more than Mario Galaxy 1 in my rankings. But this is not about that. This is about Mario Galaxy and Mario 3D Land. Uh, but then the first question, you always put nostalgia first. So maybe <laughs> Galaxy, you just... You're just like, I don't care about quality. I just care about childhood memories. I'm trying to relive them. Uh, Now I'm going to put Mario Land first. That is correct. Yay. 
Super Mario Galaxy 2, I did rank higher than 3D Land. Um, but then Mario Galaxy is four slots below 3D Land. So I like two more than one, and I really like 3D Land uh, more than Galaxy, actually. Which is strange, because 3D Land is a little more, you know, less of a theme, right? Um, but I thought the, 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 the tight level design was super, super good on the 3DS. And it made me... Like, that was my first 3DS game as well, and it, uh, I don't know, really sold me on the whole 3D handheld games thing. So, anyway, well done. You did great. I don't know where Wonder is going to appear on this list, but I'm excited to find out. Me too. Good job. Good job. Thank you so much for to playing of my game. Uh, <laughs> you could have been the next Martin A. You <laughs> no. could have been the next Mario. No, it was it was my dream, man. No, uh, 